Good morning. The day we have been waiting for is here. It is the Rob Burrow Leeds Marathon today. The roads are closed. The morning is calm and misty. Can't decide whether to put sunglasses on in my bag. It's meant to be hot later. We shall see. I have my Blue Peter pacing chart. <laughs> Here's one I made earlier, miles, kilometers. And uh, yeah, I'm so excited. I've barely slept the last like three days. Uh, just so excited. But I need to go and find my pacer flag. Um, we've got t-shirts, so I need to go and pick up my t-shirt, get ready and um, help some people achieve their marathon goals. All the side roads are now being closed. I'm assuming he's not doing the marathon. <laughs> Maybe he's warming up a couple of hours early. I'm really interested to see how congested this road is. It's pretty close to the start. And I didn't know if they were going to take out these. These cycle barriers. Um, if it's very congested, I thought they would barrier on the inside of them or take them out. Because um, <laughs> it's going to be packed. 12,000 people. Yeah, let's hope nobody runs into a cycle barrier. There's something really satisfying about watching all the roads be closed for what we're about to do. My whole body is so excited. I've got tingly legs. <laughs> and everybody walking down into town is saying, good luck, good luck. And it's making me want to cry. <laughs> so I put mascara on today. Don't normally run in mascara unless I'm going to cry. And today so many people are running for causes close to their heart. And um, you do get messages on t-shirts that really get to me and it's really not good to cry in mascara so I put that on that helps me not cry because <laughs> I can't run when I'm crying and uh, I'm pacing today so can't be crying or getting distracted <laughs> I'm looking forward to these guys cheering us look at all the volunteers <laughs> it's amazing it's at this point that I really need to calm myself down and breathe because I'm too excited I'm going to start and have no energy um, but when you're pacing you're pacing a slower time than you would normally run so I guess that's not too bad I'll start tired <laughs> we're like this is a fine pace for me <laughs> here we are at the entrance to the stadium just off to the left not sure where flag drop is how we get in so I'll just ask these guys but people are already starting getting their spots for supporting I need to get round the other side for bag drop, but I couldn't resist just visiting the start line. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait. Start and finish at Headingley Stadium. Feel the buzz. 12,000 people. Rob Burrow leads marathon. I think this is the queue for the bag drop. One of the benefits of being a pacer. So hooray, and I'm already in my Arla hat, <laughs> just need to collect my flag and t-shirt. So head into the front, need to get in, get ready, and be in the pens by 8.30. In the stadium, following the crowds, the queues for the toilets are huge, the queues for everything are huge. Let's go and uh, see if I can squeeze past and figure out where it is I'm meant to be going. Bag drop looks very, very, very organised. And then paces. And how cute is this? My flag. It's got my name on it. They don't normally put our names on, but I'm excited about that. Filming for Nicola. Go on, smile, everyone. Say hello. Heads up. Thank you very much. Where are we all? Paces are on their way to the pens. <laughs> So uh, we've just got to figure out how to get there. This, this still feels like we're walking in circles a little bit, but we're heading towards the start line. So it's all good. Stadium looking glorious. Now the fog is burning off. I think it is going to be really hot today. Right, so uh, we're heading back this way. <laughs> oh yeah, have a good race. Right. <laughs> have a great race. <laughs> There's a great buzz here in the stadium. Runners pouring out from baggage and all heading to the start line. I wonder if Rob Burrow and Kevin Simfield are there. Who knows, we need to get in the pens. So, but definite media interest. Skewing in the pen. 
I told you the sun would come out, and it's coming out now exactly on cue. The medals are hung there, ready for us when we finish. This is definitely an iconic day in Leeds history. The marathon, road marathon returns to Leeds. I can hear that Kevin Sinfield and Rob Burrow are heading to the start. Purple assembly here. There's yellows waiting there. Green to the left, yellow to the right. And purple, purple this way. Thank you, you two. Some High Park Harriers. And my fellow pacer, partner in crime. Five hours. Our oh, times are complicated, aren't they? Um, they are because they're not nice round numbers. No. I like a nice round number. They're not even the same all the way through. <laughs> but we'll be fine. We'll be good. We are exuding confidence. We are. It's a day out in the sunshine. Isn't it? I cannot tell you what the atmosphere here feels like. Hopefully some of it will come across. Purple all waiting here. Some warming up. It'll be a little while before we cross the line. And then we've got some yellows, some reds, walking to the start, getting into the pens, waiting till they set off. So, so exciting. Apparently 60% of people here today, this is their first marathon. So it's an exciting day for so many people. Other people running for close, causes close to their hearts. So it's gonna be a wonderful and emotional day. Three million pounds been raised. And the support here in the stadium is clear to see. So good luck. Thank you very much. If you pass us along the route, come give us a smile, come and say hello, and let's help each other through. Go on, Leeds! Leeds, Leeds, Leeds! Yes, go on, Leeds! Everyone loving the words from Kevin Simfield there. Once these yellow guys head off, then it'll be our turn to queue in those pens and head off up towards the start. Everybody getting so excited to set off. At this point, it's just about calming the nervous energy. We just want to get going. Um, but 12,000 people, it's not easy to get 12,000 people out of quite a narrow road onto the streets of Leeds. So patience is key. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, amazing. I've got goosebumps. What a day! What a day! Blue skies, the stadium looking amazing, and this crowd of people about to take on an epic challenge. It's not flat, it's not going to be easy, but 100% it's going to be worth it. We've been held in the pens for a while, trying to stay calm, but we're finally moving. Well, actually, that was more like the holding area. We're now moving to the pens. <laughs> we're not going to have any energy left to run a marathon because we're so excited. It is so exciting. I can't even tell you. I really hope it comes across. Just the energy. So many people in the same boat, all with the same goal. I love the running community. And the start line comes into view. And look all these people about to do something amazing. And that's the way you go, so enjoy yourselves. So you are our final wave in the full marathon. Yeah! 26.2 miles ahead of you. We're ready! Looking forward to it? Yeah! Well, the training is going to have been worthwhile.
And wonderful Amy Garcia from BBC Look North is in the purple wave. Good luck to you, Amy. Good luck to you all. Let's go do this. We're leaving. We're leaving. I'm just going to let it clear a tiny bit in front of me. Rob Burrow, Leeds Marathon, the inaugural race. Let's go. Loving the celebration on the star line. You've got a smile on your star line. Come on. Nicely smiles when you start it. You've got a smile on the finishing line as well. And we're off. Oh, look at the support. That makes me want to cry. We can't cry. <laughs> we have to run. Wow, look at the support. That's incredible. Oh my goodness. Leeds has outdone itself. This is something that's been, this is something that's been missing from Leeds for a long time. Leeds is ready for a road marathon. Look at this support. I've left a little bit of time in my calculations for um, time that we can't control. This is one of those. There's nowhere to go. We're a little bit slow on pace, but it's fine. It's all part of the plan. This first mile, a little bit congested. But it'll clear out. Just stay calm, stay relaxed. We've got this. Oh, look at the support. Thank you. Look at this. Thank you. And we'll see all the runners coming back the other way now. So this will be us soon. Have a great race! It's hot already. We're going uphill, but then we've got some lovely downhill down to the uni. Then we turn around. I don't think it's only a five mile uphill. <laughs> We're in time. Oh, the shade is glorious. Yes, pace squad! Yay, well done, Gong! Have an amazing race! And the second four hour pacer here coming up. We've been asked to stay apart. They're doing an amazing job. Yes, go on. Yes! Go on, guys. Oh. Kevin Sinfield and Rob Burrow there. A couple of miles ahead of us. And uh, yeah, inspiring loads of us out here today. So everyone's super excited to see them. Hello. Go on, Jonathan there in his burrow top, number seven. Lots and lots and lots of number sevens around. Oh, I'm trying to stay calm, well done. That is so exciting. 415, go on, Jason. God, I love an out and back, so we get to see everybody. Wish each other well on this journey of 26.2 miles out to North Leeds. And I tell you what, the views are going to be worth it. It's an incredible day. Can I say hello? Hello! Yay! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Yay! Oh, all the support, you guys. And I tell you what, I think Otley Shevin is going to be incredible. The amount of support that will be out. I just know it. Oh, you can see up ahead, there's a sea of runners. This is why we do it. These are our people, all out here, all with an individual story, individual reason for running. But we're all here. We'll all be doing the same 26.2 miles. 
enjoying the last few minutes of our out and back because we're about to say goodbye and enjoy the rest of your journey to these runners as we turn right here at the crossroads <laughs> you can run better than the government and run if you think I'm hot those are my two favorite signs so far <laughs> amazing <laughs> and we're just next to Woodhouse Moor here yeah, next to the park run Mile one, checking in. We're just passing the old start of Woodhouse Moor Park Run and hitting the edge of Leeds Uni campus. Back to the A660, down and do a little turn around and then we'll be heading north. Oh and actually, you see those buildings in the background? That's Henry Price Hall of Residence, that's where I lived in my first year of uni. That's nice to run past here. Wonder if I would have done a marathon if there was one back then. <laughs> Amazing group here running together. Team spirit right there. That's what will get you around a marathon. We've got another little item back coming up. Up here. So we get to see everybody again. Really looking forward to the cheers, but just need to keep an eye on the pace. Not go too fast. <laughs> yeah, go on, Darren. <laughs> so much respect for everyone pushing wheelchairs. That's got to be hard today. But those guys are pushing for a reason. Coming up to two miles now. So mile two here, just outside the chemistry building. Did my chemistry PhD there, and the Parkinson building. One of Leeds' iconic buildings. Anyone who goes to uni, Leeds Uni, the Parkinson building, you'll know that. <laughs> Heading on to campus now, so <laughs> this is so exciting for me, having done both my Masters and my PhD here at Leeds Uni. And uh, yeah, feels really, really lovely. There's a fireman there running in full kit. That's fireman. impressive. Like, really impressive. Thank you guys, thank you Marshall. So this is as far into Leeds city centre as we get. Now we're gonna turn around, head north and go and find some beautiful countryside. Maybe a few hills. <laughs> I, ru I ruined it all. <laughs> Don't mention the H word. <laughs> Here we go, a lovely view of the Parkinson though, running up here, and a gorgeous sunflower. Yes, go on Rick. Mr. Punk Panther there, heading up the hill. 5.30 pace burst. Oh, these runners just stop to hug each other. That's so lovely. <laughs> Water guys, water! Thank you! Yes, hi Mark! Thank you guys! Thank you guys! Oh my god, thank you! Thank you so much! Hi Pat Carrier Water Station, yes! Thank you guys, we need this today! The half marathon is heading towards us and um, <laughs> I hadn't thought about this. I thought we wouldn't have anyone heading out as we were heading up. But we have, we've got all of these half marathon runners. So <laughs> this is well planned. Pain is just <laughs> French for bread. <laughs> Thank you, hi Steve. <laughs> So exciting. 205 paces, well done. So it's a bit of a slog now. Just need to settle in. Especially once these half marathoners have left us. We can calm down and just we're on our pace. Well done paces. <laughs> what a day for running in Leeds. 
This is awesome through Headingley. The crowds are just squeezed <laughs> every last inch out of the road. Feels a bit like they were in the Tour de France or something. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, my cheeks hurt from smiling. Well Need to try not to run too fast. Getting caught up in the cheers. But this is amazing. Just incredible. Just saw some signs that are so sweet that nearly made me cry. Need to stop reading the signs. <laughs> Don't read the signs. This is awesome. <laughs> Bethia! Yay! Yeah, thank you! Thank you guys. We're heading through West Park now. We've been dragging uphill the last couple of miles. The support is incredible. Organisationally though, they're having a bit of a nightmare. The um, half marathon runners are really struggling. They're having to run out on the other side of the road because they can't get through all of us marathon runners. So, really feeling for those guys. They, um, they're struggling, they don't really have a road to run on. I think uh, it's the first year though. So, teething problems. They'll learn from today and hopefully everyone still has an amazing day out running. But, uh, yeah, bit of a struggle for the fast guys on the half marathon. I think they just need a bit more of a gap between the full and the half. Turning off the main road onto Church Lane now. So we've got a left coming up and then it really starts to feel like we're in the countryside. Look at this support. Look at these kids. Legends. Thank you. Party atmosphere here in Adol. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you everyone who's come out to support. Really is amazing. The half route has split from us now, which is great. That was not enjoyable running. Um, yeah. The half marathon runners were really stressed. There was no road for them to run on. And uh, then we saw one runner get tripped up at the roundabout. We just ran out of road, there was too many marathon runners. And they are flying, you know, the pace difference. Them to us is massive. So, um, really feel for that runner. I hope he managed to get his head back in the game. He wasn't hurt, but um, it probably was his race over, you know. Uh, yeah, definitely needs some thought. The routes are split now. So, um, just back to marathon running here. And I just hope everyone doing the half is okay. More awesome support here on King Lane. We've got a few big drags now up. So we're just trying to keep together, keep motivated and get up these hills. Checking in at eight miles, hang on pace. So thankful for the cloud cover. Actually really enjoying my sponsor's visor. <laughs> it was a warm hot day, a warm hot day, a bright hot day. Oh. <laughs> but we're all loving it. And uh, everyone's so friendly, we're in it together. So, a bit of downhill, and a long uphill, and then loads of downhill. <laughs> So here for that. Thank you so much. We're at nine and a half miles and we're at the high point in the first half of the marathon. And now we drop all the way down to the low point. So probably gonna be my favourite bit of the marathon. Can't wait to go down Crestgeld. We just float down. Easy few miles. Really feels like you're out in the countryside, surrounded by all of these lovely, lovely runners. Just coming up to the roundabout in Bramhope, and uh, we just go right, but it's the turnaround point for the half marathon runners. So that is Ace. Thank you. Thank you so much. So these guys are turning around. Yes, I can. Well done. They're heading back to Leeds now. Yay, thank you. And we're carrying on 
heading out. Thank you. And the fast runners are already on the way back. Yay! It's was an awesome run. Well done. The course splits here, so we're heading right down Crestgown. And the fast runners. Oh, this is the high back area choosing. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. And then the fast runners are in the background. Thank you. And we're heading here for all the some support. Thank you, guys. We're just on Crestgeld now, about to do the most beautiful descent. The views are unreal. Ooh, I'm putting the camera away because there's a hose. That was amazing. Thank you, people with the hose pipe. That is really hot. That was awesome. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Do support here. Again, it's amazing. I think I've been. I've been blown away. Yes. <laughs> I've been blown away here. I had good the support is. Thank you guys. Incredible. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sticky with orange in my teeth. I don't care because there's two slices of cold orange that I just got fed. Got given actually, they didn't feed me. <laughs> Were amazing. Oh, I enjoyed those so much. Thank you. I've not seen that sign before. Caution. Steep decline. <laughs> it is a, a pretty steep hill, but running, it's just lovely. Float down. I'm loving the downhill. Using the opportunity to eat some Wendy worms. <laughs> it is funny pacing this marathon. I've never clutched a pace sheet so hard. I just got to stay on it all the time. Give me something to think about, but. <laughs> I can't take my eye off the pace. It's working though. We're bang on. At the bottom of the hill here, the lovely band. And ah, oh, look at that MVP. Pace in perfection. <laughs> well, I'm a fan of that sign. <laughs> so heading out, out and back to Arthington. Checking in at 12 miles. Well done. Well done, guys. So we're turning around just up here and then we'll be on our way back. Oh, there we go, look. 180 degree turn ahead. From the start, I've been beeping a bit early. So um, well done, Jonathan. Good job, we've got a little bit of time in the bag to play with. Coming up to a high five station now, so I'm gonna grab some fuel. Yay, well done. Fellow pacer just turned around. 180 degrees, and we'll be on our way to Watley. Thank you, guys. There we go. Heading along here, pool, Watley, then up the hill. 5.30 pacing crew. Here they are, here's Amy. Yes, Amy, well done. Amazing. Runners coming down Crestgeld. My favorite sign of the day. Run hard and don't be what? <laughs> Thank you guys! And some absolutely brilliant music. Thank you so much! Thank you. I can see the halfway mat down here. <laughs> oh, it feels good to be halfway. Thank you guys. Thank you. The support in pool is just as good as everyone else. Thank you. Thank you guys. Oh. My first ever ultra marathon finished in that church back there in pool. So, uh, having a moment to reflect on my running journey. Who would have thought I'd end up a marathon pacer? We're on a tough stretch here. It's long heading from Pool to Watley and um, it's just relentlessly hot. So lots of people walking, but we're all moving in the right direction. Heading towards that finish line, coming up to 15 and a half miles. Running into Watley now and uh, support's amazing. Less than 10 miles to go, broken the back of it. It's hard, it's hard, but we're doing it. This lady's just seen her sister. Oh my God. Come on, you 
Oh, thank you, Watley. Just unreal support. And I'm hoping on the hill the support is even better. Yorkshire and a cheer station. Thank you for that. Swim up north. That's Chevin imposing in the background as we head towards mile 17. Listen to these crowds. Mile 17, checking in. On the first little bit of the Chevin now. It's only a little rise and it feels hard. <laughs> it is it's so hot. hot. It is really hot. It's not crazily it's hot. Not hot. But uh, we've got a little bit of time bank for still, so we? feeling very grateful for that. Yeah. On the roundabout with. An amazing brass band. Thank you guys. Yay! There's a high park carrier station. Oh my god. There we go. I had to stop filming because I had the hose pipes out. Oh hose pipe to the face. That is what I'm about today. Oh so lovely. 18 miles. I'm eating Wendy Worms and there's a gel and water station. We're laughing. We can do this. The hill is tough, but we are tougher. Checking in here at 30k. Bang on pace. Trying to have a little shower. Oh, so good. Thank you. Oh, so, it's a hot, hot day. A hard, hard hill. Well, that might be the best cheer station to date. Look at that. <laughs> Up in Otley Shepherd. Well, it's tight. Look at those guys cheering us. Amazing. As we continue to head up the never ending hill. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that has been a hard mile. But we're nearly there now. Round the corner, little ramp, then some flat. Thank goodness. Thank you. Incredible support here. Just coming to the top of the hill. Thank you. Tough little section here, but uh, we've got all this support to help get up, and it's working. Yay! Thank you. Yes, this girl can. Oh, more awesome support. I just can't believe it. I probably said it a hundred times that the support has been unreal. Really, really appreciate. <laughs> appreciate all these guys coming out, giving up their Sunday to support us runners, it really does mean a lot. Amazing party vibes here, loving the drums, loving all this support. This is going to get us to the finish line, all these guys. Mile 21, checking in. can start to think of the finish line now. <laughs> I just love the support, thank you, thank you, thank you. Love how many kids are out supporting future marathon runners. Oh, doggy support. <laughs> no, <it's okay. laughs> Thank you. Oh, that dog is cheering and loving it. Oh, just love all the music on course. We don't want to keep running this way, we want to stay there. Oh, amazing energy. Last little rise. There was a little girl then with a the hose pipe. Got me square in the face. It was so good. Thank you so much to everyone who's been out with the hose pipe. Didn't think we would have got around without you. It's been a really, really incredibly hot day. 
Mile 23, checking in. Thank you. <laughs> yes, guys, thank you. Thank you, Pudsy. It's felt so lovely today, the support on course. Because there's loads of local run clubs and I feel like I've known people all the way around. It's just been incredible to have this on your doorstep. Part of the route is the school run. <laughs> Feel to, yay! Hi! Thank you! <laughs> That's my sports masseur. Masseuse? What's the word? I don't know. I've run 23 miles <laughs> in this heat. But well, we are nearly there. It is literally all downhill. Last mile's been downhill. The next two miles are downhill. Then we'll be at the finish. What seemed like such a big, long, hilly, hard route, we've conquered it. And people at this stage are starting to push off. Leave the five hour pace first and head to that finish. There's an awesome cheer squad here. <laughs> what an awesome idea. I just went through another shower, desperately trying to protect my camera. My back is in pieces with this rubbing because I have been through so many showers and poured so much water down my back. Um, but it's, you just need it today. It's really it's just so, 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 so hard. Guy ahead of me has just flown past. M75 plus on his back. Yes, go on. That's our inspiration right there. Hopefully, we get to have the privilege of still being running at 75. I feel like that wasn't even English, but <laughs> amazing. Well done. Awesome effort, guys. Incredible on this hot day. So many people out for Team MND today and uh, all just making themselves so proud, raising loads of money for charity and just generally being epic. So, I'm absolutely applauding all of these guys. Mile 25, 1.2 to go. Thank you guys. Listen to this. Yes. Just awesome. There was a lady with a bucket of ice. I want to go and get in her bucket of ice. The last mile now, thank you. The last mile support is incredible. I don't think I expected. Don't think I expected it to be this good. The lead to really pulled it out of the bag today. In terms of support, couldn't ask for any more. Thank you. Let's hear it for another one of our paces, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. And right guys. here, what an effort. What an effort. <laughs> Team Cam, well done. <laughs> Turning right here, heading to the stadium. We are so ready to get there. Let's go find that finish line. With half a mile to go, I think it's time. Thank you. I think it's time to put my pace chart away. Should be bang on. Just hope to get it right for these incredible guys we're running with. Yay! Thank you, guys. Oh, this support. This support. I can't cope. This moment. This unreal. Unreal, yes, Leeds. Yes, Leeds, 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 Leeds. Last 200 meters. Turning into the stadium now. One of a mile to go. 
this is it. We've got 30 seconds. I'm hoping it's just around the corner. Hoping, hoping, hoping. There we go. There it is. There it is. Let's go, guys. Let's get to that finish. Yeah. Get there. <laughs> Bang on! Thank you, Nicola. Thank you. Oh, amazing. Amazing. People pouring over the line now. Everybody here has achieved something absolutely fantastic. And a first, the inaugural Rob Burrow Leeds Marathon. Done. And then up in the stands, people waiting for their friends, their family to come in and hear the moment of glory, claiming our medal. Thank you so much. Thank you ever so much. Well done. And they stream through, tired, but these guys have all achieved something amazing today because they've just finished a marathon. 60% first time marathon runners. So hot, so hilly, so hard. But they did it. Well done. Oh. Emotion, so much emotion. As people still stream over the line. And we join a queue heading around the stadium. Some just flopping straight on the floor here. Not a bad shout. Well, we carry on to get our t-shirts, our goodie bags. Well done, so you're welcome, you're welcome. I've never been more excited in my life. That bag of salt and vinegar crisps that's in the goodie bag. My mouth is watering thinking about them. I think I need to go and take this flag off first, so I'll filter through here. Go back to the pacer area. Dump the flag and then eat and drink all of the things. marathon I have ever paced just all over the place uphill downhill uphill downhill uphill downhill bank time oh my goodness I'm interested to see my finish times I think it was either 4.59.59 or 5 dead uh, we like to finish or 15 seconds under uh, but it came up a bit long so any time I'd banked gone Feeling really, really pleased to have finished. Very, very proud. My number seven medal. So many number sevens out on course. Rob Burrow. Here we are at Headingley Stadium. Pretty cool place to finish. Yeah. I've loved it. Will I make it through this door? He said yes, right? Yay! Oh, I just touched <laughs> Thank you. I made it through the door. See, the challenges don't stop after the marathon. They have to actually get to places. Um, I'm just going to take one of these from these guys. Thank you so much. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, it's so cold. Thank you. Um, right, let's go and take this flag off. Slight panic and bag drop. They moved our bag from the pacer zone and then uh, I had labelled it so it's miles away. So half my stuff's still in the pacer zone and my bag's over there, but we reunited. That's like my car key, my house key. Uh, but I've got it, so hooray. Oh, right, cannot wait to take this flag off my bag. Everyone filing in, being reunited with their bags. These guys are working so hard. <laughs> and then, filing out over here, into the event village. 
What a buzz. Right, I'm going to go and queue for a massage. I need it. I need it. There's some amazing massage going on in there, but they have just finished, which is a shame. So you have to run under five hours to get a massage, which is sad. I wish they'd have done it in shifts and brought some... Um, some like, I get it. Their, their hands are tired, totally. They've been working really, really hard. But I think they should have put a later shift on because that's really disappointing. The people that have been out there five, six hours, you know, there's people still crossing the finish line now. There'll be people crossing the line for a while to come and you don't get the same experience if everything's closing. So lessons to learn for next year, for sure. When you can't get a massage, get chips. This is a good life choice right here. Eleanor's finished. Well done, Eleanor. Eleanor's got cheesy chips. <laughs> Ellen's got the backyard ultra next week. Um, and I have chips, I have drowned in mayonnaise and ketchup and I am happy. The marathon is still going on behind me. People are still pouring down that straight, not quite the finished straight. Um, but yeah, that was a hard day at the office. Just looked up my official time, you won't believe it. If I have a pacer, have a guess. Five hours dead, which sounds good. Sounds like I nailed my pacing. We like to be 10, 15 seconds under. Um, that was stressful. Stressful. An absolutely amazing day though. Yeah, a lot to learn for next year, especially with the half marathon. I just hope all those guys were okay. Um, it's been an epic day so many people completing their first ever marathon it's just great to see just an honor to be a part of really so thank you northern pacing volunteers just uh, great seeing fellow pacers out there and it is it's nerve-wracking putting yourself on the line with a number on your back and then trying to run it so i think we all did really really well especially in this heat <laughs> that was so hot that was the hardest most stressful, stressful marathon i've ever run um, I'm feeling really good now after my chips. So, so yeah, would I do it again next year? Of course I would. <laughs> While we were running, everyone was like, no, not doing one of these again. Never doing a marathon again. They know tomorrow they're going to be like, that was type two fun. I'm so proud. And then, obviously, we've got our medals. So, it was worth it. Anyway, I'll stop waffling on. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Huge congratulations to everyone who's raised money, who's been out here today running, whether it was the half or the full, it has been an amazing day. All of the usual things, like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you soon on a running adventure after a little bit of rest. I'm tired. <laughs>